you guys have any questions for me, let me know. So let's start. Um, for baby hair, you need a baby hair comb or a spoolie like this. Mind you, all the items I'm going to be using is available on my website at Glam by Gifty. I do sell the baby hair brush, um, the edges, razor, and everything else in between. But to begin, you're going to take some hair out of the wig itself. And I don't want a lot of baby hair, so I'm just taking the front, just the front line, and then that's it. Right there, this is all you need to be working with. So I'm gonna take that. After I take that, I'm gonna take the razor comb in the angle going backwards, right? Don't cut this way. You wanna take the hair, pull it out in the front, take the razor comb and you're gonna cut backwards. Using a razor comb versus, versus, versus. A scissors is a lot easier if you're a beginner, you get more precision. So right here, I have cut the little um, baby hair. All I'm gonna be using, again, this is a very beginner friendly tutorial. If you're more expert, you can use a mousse, that's fine. But if you're a beginner, a gel is way, way better to use because it's not gonna give you um, the risk of actually lifting your lace and all that. So using a gel, the Eco Styling Gel is really nice or any kind of gel that is not going to lift your hair. So I like the Eco Styler. I'm going to take the edge control brush using the actual comb part. So this is the part I've cut, right? So what you want to do now, you want to take the gel, you want to lay it on to where you cut. You just want to lay it and separate it from, you want to separate the little baby hairs you cut from your actual, like, you know, the rest of the hair. So you're gonna take the gel and you're gonna lay that down. You wanna make a big demarcation. Okay, we have this going on, cool. After that, you wanna switch to the brush part of the um, double-sided edge control brush. Now you wanna take your fingers and slick that. See that? But you want to sleek it all the way back into the hair so that it melts together. Let's do that again. And then you're going to be brushing it so that it just melts together. Okay, so that is our first swoop that we did. Now, Okay. Um, sorry about that. So now we have laid the first one. Now we're going to go into another one that's right down here. So again, we're using the brush part now. You use the comb part to pull everything down so you can see the difference. Then use the brush part to actually lay it properly. And you use your fingers to carve it so that it sleeks. I'm going to cut a little bit off. And again, taking the brush part. And then you do that. That's it. Um, I'm going to redo this one. I'm not really liking the way it's looking right now. So I'm going to take this and redo that. And again, you're using the brush part just to blend it in. And you use the comb part to um, make the demarcation between the lace and the baby hair. Yeah, it will be hard for you to brush with the comb part. I prefer brushing with the brush part. Okay, I just want this to be lifted a little bit more. So that it doesn't cover my entire eyebrow. Because my, um, my eyebrows and my forehead is pretty small, so I don't want my baby hair to be attached to my eyebrow. That's why I'm going back and pushing it a little bit more. The same thing I'm using is just the Eco Styler Gel. Yeah, this is not it. I'm gonna do this side. Okay, that's better, all right? 
See, it's not as close to my um, eyebrows. And that's what you want. Now you got the first, mm, hold on. Sorry, y'all. I'm so particular about my hair. Let me just make sure this looks right. Okay, now we got the first two done. Cool. If you like, you can add a baby hair right in the middle. Um, if you don't, you don't have to, but I am gonna be doing a, a side part from this angle. So I am gonna add a baby hair right here. And now to do it again, the same steps I just did, we're gonna take the comb part, grab the front line of hair and, deep, and make them separate from everything else. You don't want to take too much hair, just the front line, just this lining right here. And I know this baby hair is going to be carving to this angle. Again, y'all, um, everybody has their own preference of baby hair, so if you don't want to do it this thick, you don't have to. I'm just giving you guys a very beginner-friendly way to lay baby hair. That's using the gel, using the razor instead of using the scissors and then also using the edge control brush. So those tools will make you make it a lot easier for you to achieve the baby hair look that you want. Okay, so now same thing, we're just gonna take our razor again and then just gonna cut it. And then this one, I want it to swoop over here. I'm gonna take it. And you also want to make it like, like you see how it's all clumped up together? You don't want to ever leave it like that. What you want to do is take the brush part and then you smooth it out. This is just a little bit too much going on. I'm going to take some out actually. There's a little bit too much going on right now. Let's take this out. Okay, that's good. Now we're just going to smooth that. You don't want it to be too thick. You still want it to be able to like show, but always just make the baby hair work for you. Make it work to your personality. Mine, I'm not really into like, like dramatic ones. So again, I'm just taking the brush and I'm just brushing it into the lace so that they both blend in together. I have my mirror directly behind me. That's why I'm looking through. Okay, cool. So we did one here, we did one here, and then we did one right here. And then for the sides, this one is gonna be laying this way. So we're gonna take this one, and we're gonna swoop it this way. And that's it. That's all for the baby hair right there. Okay, once you're done with that, you want to always wrap it with something. You can use a silk scarf, you can use a headband, um, you can use anything that is able to wrap your hair down. I really like um, the foam wraps, the foam wraps, those white strips are really nice as well. So I'm just gonna lay this, hold on. Before I lay this, I'm gonna part my hair so I know what parting I'm working with. I had my hair in the middle. This is how the hair is when it's down. It's not styled yet. So I had it like this. I am gonna change it to a deep side part. So to change your parting, you're gonna take your comb, look at your face depending on what parting you're doing, and then you're just gonna part that. I am working with a 13 by 6 frontal from gifty.org. This is their 20 inch um, heavy layered lace frontal wig that I'm working, around, working with right now. So to part, I'm just gonna find where I want my hair to be laid. Part it in that direction. Comb this over to move the middle part out the way. And I'm going to take my edge control comb and lay this over here. Okay. Now another tool that you definitely need 
to make your wig um, installment or wig journey easy is a hot comb to be switching your parts over. So all I did, I parted my hair. Now I'm going to use the hot comb to lay it flat. This is what lays your hair flat. Um, one day I had a, a customer or somebody inbox me and they was wondering, how do you get your hair like to be flat? It's the hot comb, not the wax sticks. Do you see these little like flyaways that is standing up? The wax sticks is supposed to lay the flyaway down, not to make your hair flat. It just lays the flyaway down. So to get your hair flat, you, you definitely need a hot comb. Um, I go through hot combs way too much actually. But all you do is you take your hot comb and you're pressing it down right now. So I'm just pressing down. Don't forget to get the hairline because you want to melt the baby hair, the hairline and everything together. Okay. I don't like this baby hair right here. I don't like how it's clumped up together right here. Okay, is that a little better? Yeah, that's okay. I'm gonna leave it for now. But yeah, um, like I was saying, so again with the hot comb, you take your hot comb and then you just use it to press out to flat into the angle that you want. And mine is the deep side part. That's what I'm going for right now. Just like that. Cool. And I'm going to straighten up my part a little bit, actually. Let's straighten this up more. By doing that, I'm just cleaning up the parting, pushing it over there, taking my hot comb once again. Okay, that's better. Now that's a lot better. Now everything looks good to me. Now I'm gonna start styling my hair. So before moving on to styling, I am gonna take a wrap to wrap it down. Okay, so now here we are. The wrap just gives it that extra boost that it needs just to seep everything into your skin and lay together. So I am combing my hair out now. And I know I want it to fall like that. Okay, cool. So, perfect. This is the curler I'm gonna be using. I'm about to put it on. And in the meantime, while it's getting hot, I'm gonna tell you guys about my Black Friday sale. And yeah, so just give me a second, I'm gonna plug this in. Okay, we're all plugged in now. And I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna wait till that gets hot. And we're gonna start curling this bad girl up. Okay, so again, my name is Gifty Parker. I am the gift to your hair located in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. I am a custom wig maker and hairstylist. And this Black Friday, we're gonna be having the biggest sale that we've ever had, ever basically. I'm gonna be going 30% off wigs bundles, lace frontals, lace closures. You get 30% off my entire website with those items. On top of that, I just released my new lash collection, which is Glam by Gifty. You're able to get, um, buy two lashes and receive one free. Within that, I am also dropping to-go hair care packages. So all these items that you just seen, um, the brush, the, the razor, the clips, I will show the clips. Um, even the band and my cap I'm gonna put on right after that. Every single item is on the website, right? So basically I'm gonna be selling like mannequins heads, canvas head, all those things for you to take care of your wigs, your hair, 
at home. So if you're interested, I do have little to-go packages. Um, if you're interested, I have basically all you need. I have wigs, bonnets, bundles, canvas head, edge control brush. Everything will be on sale for our Black Friday sale, which is starting November 26th at 12 a.m. So if you need any other detailed questions about the sale, just message me. Um, let's get back to this, y'all. Okay, let's see if our curler is hot, hot, hot. It's hot. Okay, so to start curling, I'm gonna use these clips and I'm gonna start from the back of my head. So I'm going to create a sectioning right there, pull this part up, and I'm gonna start curling from the bottom of my hair. So then I'm gonna section the bottom half again, right here. Take my curling wand. How do I want my curls to fall? Okay, so I want my curls to fall back. So I'm gonna put the curler through this way and curl away from my face. Careful. And then hold it in my hand, curl, hold. Okay, good. There we go. That's the very first one. Now, once again, I'm gonna take another section again, and I want it away from my face. Pull it through, away from your face, and just curl it. Okay. Then once you stop the curling, all the hair is through it. Once all the hair is through the curling wand, then you stop it and you try to pull it out. All right. Let that fall. Perfect. Same thing on this side. Away from your face. Back. And then just curl it. fall right there so this is just how the back is right now that's the first row we just did okay now going over once again you're going to separate it find yourself another row then clip it back up right there now we're going to work with the row we just took out which will be this top part Same thing, we want the curls to be away from our face. Okay, good. It's gonna fall like that. Okay, I like to check how my curls are gonna fall. I'm going for a specific look. Okay, cool. So again, the top part, we're gonna take it, back, curl it. And if you need like one-on-one -on -one detail, um, styling, cutting the lace, putting the wig on, definitely check out my YouTube channel. I do go into more detail, specific videos. Um, check out my YouTube channel. That's gonna be Gifty Parker, spell G. I-F-T-Y, last name is Parker. Definitely check me out. Okay, that's cute, cool. And I'm gonna take, see this piece right there that's straight? That straight piece? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna pick up and curl it right here, boom. And again, away from our face. Each time you wanna make sure the curler is away from your face. Um, I do have curly 12 inch bob wigs available. If you guys, I don't know how the live thing works, but I tried to add pictures of my work in here so you guys can see it as well. 
But yeah, um, I do have curly inch bobs available. Curly inch. <laughs> I do have curly bobs in inches um, 12 available. Then I have straight bobs in inches. Make sure this is cute. Hold on, let's make sure our hair is fine first. I keep talking. And this is how the back is looking right now. Okay, okay. Now we're working our way to the front. Since we are here. I want this to fall back here, so I'm going to take it in this angle, rotate my hand back. Let that sit for a little bit. Now, swish your hands around. Got it. Haha. -ha. Now we rotate. And then we stop right here. Cool. Do you guys like see what I'm doing? It's you always have to be careful with like where you want your curls to fall and how you want your curls to be. That's why like I'm swishing my hands around and all that. Because I wanted to have like that feather which really bouncy look going on. You guys will see once I comb it out, you will see the look. Okay. Okay, cool. Now we're on top of here. Now we're at the top part. All this needs to go. Swoosh. See how we're doing this? Now we are just continuing continuing to curl the hair down. And we're all with, ooh, did we do this wrong? Yes, we did. Let's go back. That's not what we want. That did not, no, let's go back. Let's cut this into two. This part came out fine. Let's cut that into two and recurl the front again. If you're just joining, we went over how to do your baby hair, um, how to cut, cut the little, part out and what to use to lay the baby hair. Um, again, my name is Gifty Parker. I am a custom wig maker and hairstylist located in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. If you would like detailed um, hair education, check out my YouTube channel. Plus I have classes dropping this November for my Black Friday sale. Okay, we're at the top. All right, let's look at the back to make sure we don't have any straight pieces. Do I have any straight pieces left back here? I hope not. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking I don't, so I'm just gonna continue there. So now with the top part, this is the part that needs to give me like volume, volume. Okay. Wait, let me make sure. There we go, okay. So since I want that much volume, I'm gonna separate right here. I'm gonna leave the front. This piece, this last piece that I got going on right here, I'm gonna clip it away. And I'm gonna curl this right here. So I'm gonna separate that one more time. I'm gonna take our curler, put the hair through the curler, and then you wanna rotate this curler back this way. Because if you rotate this way, you'll probably burn your face, so we don't want that. We're gonna rotate our curler back this way to create the feather look. So we slide down and then we turn our hand, slide down, turn your hand, slide down, turn your hand. Once the hair eats up all the um, extensions, leaving that little space, you know you're correct. So now you're gonna stop, then release the curl. There you go. So you do that again for this one right here. Take this. Make sure, and I'm gonna fall back. All right, take the same piece, take the front piece, put it through the curly barrel, stop right there, pull down, and then just backwards, back. 
each time. Then you sit, chill out, relax a little bit, and then you unwind. See that? Now we're unwind. Perfect. Okay, cool. Here is how our curl is looking by itself. Okay. Now I'm gonna, ooh, girl, you, you was rushing. I was rushing, I was trying to run my fingers through. I left this whole piece. Let's go back and do that. I'm gonna separate this. Right here. And curl this part out to make sure that we got, we don't miss anything. Same again, drop it, all right. Back here, this is the very last piece that we're working with. Now, once you get here, you're there. And one more thing what I'm gonna do, like I want, right now what I have going on, I have a lot of volume on the top of my hair, right? And then you can see that it bends out at the bottom. I'm not really liking that vibe right now, so I am going to cut my hair. I'm going to cut this, but I'm going to use the razor to cut it. I'm using the razor, turning it a little bit, and then I'm cutting down. Yeah, this is the right way. No, that's what I like. I like that a lot better. It gives me a lot of volume, a lot of life. A lot of movement. That's cuter. All right, let's check out our baby hair. While we're curling, we had our baby hair setting under here. Okay. And voila, that is our finished look. I'm now gonna go press out my hair. Let's press this down a little bit to make it a little bit flatter. Here is the close up. Okay. And here it is, y'all. This is it. That's literally. All I had to do, um, if you would like to see how I installed this video, the link is right there. Check out my YouTube channel, Gifty Parker. And please, y'all, I'm having a 30% off Black Friday sale. Don't miss out. That's gifty.org. It's going to be starting November 26th at 12 a.m. through the 30th. You're able to get 30% off these beautiful wigs. Like, like weeks like this you're able to get 30 percent off bundles extensions um lace frontals lace closures plus if you need any of these tools that you've seen me using the razor the brush the gel anything like that check out my new um new business it's called glam by gifty we provide on hand like products for maintaining your hair at home i'm still trying to get like the concept down but it's basically like Everything you need to take care of your hair at home, I have you covered. So if you need a canvas head, we got that on our website. If you need a um, hot comb, we got that as well. So anything that you need to take care of your hair at home, check out gifty.org. And thank you so much for watching my live, y'all. Bye.